Who doesn't know Meg Ryan, the queen of rom-com who stole millions of hearts with her enchanting dimpled smile? Whether it was as Sally in When Harry Met Sally or as Kate from Kate and Leopold, Ryan is a skilled actor who delivered performances that wooed audiences and critics alike. However, it's been about eight years since Meg Ryan last appeared in a film and a full 15 since she was in a major studio movie. It's a somewhat surprising turn of events for an actress who was a box office star throughout the 80s and 90s and a definitive leading lady of the romantic comedy genre, especially considering so many of her Hollywood peers have continued to enjoy thriving careers in both film and television. So why Meg Ryan disappeared from Hollywood? Was there some dramatic backstory to her break? Keep watching to find out. Early career. Meg Ryan's journey into the world of acting was far from her initial dreams. Born in 1961 as Margaret Mary Emily Hira in Fairfield, Connecticut, she didn't harbor early aspirations of becoming an actor. In fact, her original career goal was to venture into journalism, a path she embarked on by studying first at the University of Connecticut and later at NYU. This academic pursuit served as a means to financially support herself during her college years. As destiny would have it, Meg Ryan's entry into the entertainment industry took an unexpected turn. She began her career by participating in TV commercials and taking on small acting roles. It was during this phase that she secured her very first role in the soap opera As the World Turns. What started as a side hustle swiftly transformed into her primary vocation, as Ryan exhibited exceptional talent and potential in the field of acting. Her dedication and early success in the industry prompted her to make a pivotal decision. She chose to forego her final semester in college to fully commit to pursuing acting as her career of choice. To further solidify her identity in the entertainment world, the budding actress opted to adopt her grandmother's surname, Ryan. This change allowed her to be recognized and credited as Meg Ryan when she officially joined the Screen Actors Guild. As the world turns. Meg Ryan's initiation into the realm of serious acting took an unexpected and exciting turn when she landed her first significant role on the CBS soap opera As the World Turns. This marked a crucial phase in her career as she stepped into the shoes of Betsy Stewart Andropoulos, a character she portrayed from 1982 to 1984. Despite having dabbled in school plays, her experience on the set of a popular soap opera presented its own set of challenges. Ryan candidly reveals an amusing anecdote from her early days in the industry. A seemingly straightforward scene in which she had to descend a flight of stairs and persuade a prospective love interest to open a jar of peanut butter. Surprisingly, this seemingly simple task proved to be quite perplexing for her, leading to a staggering 37 or 38 takes to achieve the desired outcome. Moreover, she grappled with the demanding task of remembering her lines, which made her decision to persist in the field of acting all the more remarkable. Despite these initial hurdles, her portrayal in As the World Turns resonated with audiences, and her character was genuinely beloved. In fact, one particular episode, in which her character tied the knot with her on-screen love interest, attracted one of the highest viewer counts in the history of soap operas. This stroke of fortune led Ryan to pursue acting as her full-time career, a path that ultimately transformed her into a mainstream actor known for her lead roles in numerous commercial films. However, Meg Ryan's journey didn't stop at acting. She ventured into the realms of directing and producing, showcasing her multifaceted talents in the film industry. Her directorial debut marked a significant milestone in her career, and it's worth noting that it not only featured her, but also involved another close family member. Curious to know who that family member might be and how the film fared at the box office. Keep watching to uncover more intriguing details about Meg Ryan's fascinating journey in Hollywood, the 80s, Following her stint on As the World Turns, Meg Ryan embarked on a journey that would lead her to the silver screen. 
The 80s marked the beginning of her transition to the big screen, where she took on a series of smaller roles in various films. Some of her notable appearances during this period included Promised Land, Armed and Dangerous, and a memorable role in the iconic Top Gun. However, it was in 1989 that Meg Ryan achieved a significant breakthrough in her career when she secured her first leading role in the romantic comedy classic When Harry Met Sally. This film not only gained widespread critical acclaim, but also enjoyed considerable success at the box office. To this day, it holds a special place in cinematic history and is often regarded as one of the funniest and most beloved films ever made. In her role as Sally, Meg Ryan's performance earned her a well-deserved nomination for a Golden Globe Award. As the 90s unfolded, Ryan's career encountered a mix of successes and challenges. In 1990, she starred in Joe vs. the Volcano, a film that, unfortunately, failed to ignite at the box office. However, the following years saw her in The Doors, which achieved reasonable success, and Prelude to a Kiss, which, regrettably, met with commercial disappointment. But, as fate would have it, 1993 brought another significant milestone for Meg Ryan with the release of Sleepless in Seattle. This romantic comedy, in which she portrayed the leading role opposite the legendary Tom Hanks, became a massive hit. The on-screen chemistry between Ryan and Hanks was undeniable, and their partnership seemed to work like magic, captivating audiences. Interestingly, their first collaboration, Joe vs. the Volcano, which initially struggled, eventually garnered a dedicated following. In a 2018 interview, Meg Ryan attributed their exceptional on-screen chemistry to Hanks, describing him as easy to work with and a supportive colleague who genuinely cheered on those around him. During the 90s, Meg Ryan had undoubtedly risen to the status of a prominent star in her own right. However, her filmography might have boasted yet another remarkable achievement if she had accepted a pivotal role. In 1991, Ryan was offered the leading role of Clarice Starling in the iconic psychological horror film The Silence of the Lambs. This cinematic masterpiece, directed by Jonathan Demme, went on to become a groundbreaking work in the realm of suspense and horror. Nevertheless, Meg Ryan made the difficult decision to decline the role, citing its gruesome and intense nature as her reason. Given her track record of predominantly appearing in sweet, heartwarming, and charming plots, this choice may have been for the best, as it allowed her to maintain her established image in the industry. While professionally things were indeed going well for Meg Ryan during this period, her personal life was also flourishing. In 1991, she entered into a marriage with fellow actor Dennis Quaid. Their love story had initially unfolded a few years earlier, as they had met on the set of the science fiction comedy, Inner Space. The real-life chemistry between Ryan and Quaid was evident to audiences, making them a beloved couple both on and off the screen. The 90s. Entering the 90s marked a significant shift for Meg Ryan, as she ventured into a diverse range of roles, stepping away from the romantic comedy typecast. This decade proved to be a period of success on multiple fronts for her. With an array of rom-com scripts and ingenue characters at her disposal, Ryan was spoilt for choice when it came to her film selections. During this era, she delivered notable performances that showcased her versatility and talent. One of the standout films from this period was the social drama When a Man Loves a Woman. Departing from the light-hearted rom-com territory, this movie allowed Ryan to explore more complex and dramatic roles. Additionally, she appeared in the rom-com French Kiss, showcasing her comedic prowess while still charming audiences. Furthermore, You've Got Mail reunited Meg Ryan with Tom Hanks, for another heartwarming romantic comedy. However, the turn of the century marked a pivotal moment in both her personal and professional life. Meg Ryan embarked on a new chapter by embracing diverse roles that extended beyond the confines of romantic comedies. 
One of her notable projects during this period was the 2000 action thriller Proof of Life. While the film achieved moderate success, it gained significant attention for reasons beyond the plot. During the production of Proof of Life, rumors began circulating about a romantic connection between Meg Ryan and her co-star Russell Crowe. These rumors escalated into a full-blown scandal. Complicating matters, Ryan was still married to Dennis Quaid at the time, adding fuel to the controversy. The separation from Dennis Quaid in the same year intensified the media frenzy surrounding Meg Ryan. Suddenly, the beloved good girl of Hollywood found herself cast as the antagonist in the unfolding narrative. In the midst of it all, Russell Crowe's infatuation with Meg Ryan was evident. He expressed a desire for a deeper connection in their relationship. However, Ryan found herself in a different emotional place, and the persistence of Crow eventually overwhelmed her. Despite Crow's earnest efforts, their romance was short-lived. The aftermath of this highly publicized episode took a toll on both of their public images. Russell Crowe was tagged as a home wrecker, while Meg Ryan faced criticism and scrutiny from the media and the public. It wasn't until years later, in a 2008 interview, that Meg Ryan finally addressed the controversy and sought to set the record straight. She clarified that Russell Crowe was not to blame for the breakdown of her marriage, acknowledging that she was in a difficult emotional state during that period, which ultimately impacted their relationship. As Meg Ryan navigated her career in the early 2000s, she faced a delicate balance between her established good girl image and her desire to explore more diverse roles on the professional front. While some of her endeavors proved successful, one particular experiment had the potential to jeopardize her career, her role in the 2003 erotic thriller In the Cut. In the Cut cast Meg Ryan opposite Mark Ruffalo, known for his role in the Avengers franchise, in a film that pushed the boundaries of her established image. The movie included a steamy scene that many fans and critics believed didn't align with Ryan's wholesome image. Regrettably, this gamble did not yield the desired results, as In the Cut failed to make a significant impact on both critics and audiences. The movie's reception left much to be desired, and it struggled to resonate with viewers. In the wake of the film's release, questions arose about why Meg Ryan had chosen to take on such a provocative role, especially when her image was firmly associated with good girl characters. Ryan explained that despite her extensive filmography, only seven of her 30 films were rom-coms. She asserted that her established image was not something she consciously cultivated or recognized. Rather, it was a consequence of her diverse body of work. Ver However, her decision to pursue this daring role invited scrutiny and criticism. In one interview conducted by Michael Parkinson, Ryan faced a particularly challenging line of questioning. Instead of seeking insight into her career choices, the interviewer appeared to berate her, leading to a visibly offended Ryan. In the world of entertainment, actors often evolve and embrace a range of roles. While the industry and audiences typically support such transformations, Meg Ryan's journey was somewhat different. She found herself in a unique position, where her image was closely intertwined with her career. She expressed feeling unfairly typecast and, at times, disillusioned with the industry, just as some audiences seem to be with her. Nevertheless, in a later interview, Meg Ryan acknowledged that she had anticipated the aftermath of taking on a darker role in In the Cut, although perhaps not to the extent that it unfolded. Fame wasn't everything. While fame can appear glamorous from the outside, Meg Ryan's personal experience revealed that it wasn't all she had imagined it to be. Her journey into fame began at a young age, and she achieved success in the entertainment industry relatively early in her life. However, the demands of her burgeoning career took a toll on her, and she found herself in a constant state of fatigue. As her popularity soared, Meg Ryan encountered a growing sense of discomfort that often accompanies fame. She candidly admitted to struggling with the various challenges that arose with her rising status in the entertainment world. 
These challenges were not solely related to her professional commitments, but extended into her personal life as well. In an interview with the New York Times, Ryan opened up about her experiences with fame. She acknowledged that fame brought with it a unique set of advantages, such as recognition, opportunities, and financial rewards. However, she also underscored the inherent disadvantages that accompany celebrity status. One of the significant disadvantages Ryan highlighted was the difficulty in discerning the true intentions of those around her. In a world where fame can attract both genuine well-wishers and individuals with ulterior motives, trust becomes a precious and elusive commodity. Furthermore, Meg Ryan emphasized that fame exacted a toll on various facets of her well-being, including her mind, body, and soul. Remember her disappearance. In the wake of the challenges posed by her relationship with Russell Crowe and her daring role in In the Cut, Meg Ryan made a conscious decision to step back from the relentless world of Hollywood. She recognized the need for a change and sought to explore new horizons beyond acting. This period of self-reflection and transformation was a crucial chapter in her life. During an interview with Jane Pauley, Ryan candidly shared her perspective on this transformative phase. She revealed that she had deliberately turned down acting roles because she felt a strong desire to pursue different avenues and immerse herself in fresh experiences that were not necessarily tied to the entertainment industry. This period of personal exploration allowed her to break free from the constraints of her established career and discover new dimensions of herself. One of the significant outcomes of this hiatus was Meg Ryan's renewed sense of agency over her life. She evolved into someone who was determined to dictate the terms of her existence rather than merely letting life unfold as it may. This newfound assertiveness empowered her to make deliberate choices about the direction her life would take, both personally and professionally. However, even as Meg Ryan took a step back from the silver screen, she found that fame and public scrutiny continued to cast a shadow over her life. People were quick to offer unsolicited commentary on her appearance, with some speculating that she had undergone cosmetic procedures. Ryan neither confirmed nor denied these claims, choosing to rise above the negativity. In response to the vitriol and criticism she faced, Ryan articulated her perspective with grace and resilience. She expressed her preference for engaging in meaningful conversations rather than indulging in baseless rumors and negativity. Her directorial debut. In 2015, Meg Ryan ventured into a new realm of the entertainment industry as she made her directorial debut with the drama film Ithaca. This marked a significant milestone in her career, showcasing her versatility and willingness to explore different aspects of filmmaking. During an interview with Good Morning America, Ryan reflected on this transition explaining that after having spent three decades in front of the camera, she felt a genuine desire to step behind it and take on the role of a director. In Ithaca, Meg Ryan not only directed the film but also starred in it, demonstrating her multifaceted talents in the world of cinema. The movie also featured Alex Neusteiner, adding depth to the cast. A particularly heartwarming aspect of this project was the involvement of her son, Alex Quaid, who played a supporting role as her on-screen elder son. This collaboration allowed the family to share a creative bond on set. Meg Ryan's influence and charm extended even further as she managed to convince the iconic Tom Hanks to make a guest appearance in the film. Hanks, known for his successful collaborations with Ryan in the past, brought his star power to Ithaca, enhancing its appeal. While Ithaca received mixed reviews from critics, it was far from being labeled a complete failure. The film showcased Ryan's ability to navigate the complexities of directing and acting simultaneously, earning her recognition for her efforts in both capacities. In more recent developments, Meg Ryan has taken on a producer's role, further expanding her influence in the industry. In 2018, she successfully sold the obsolescence to NBC, highlighting her continued involvement in bringing compelling stories to the screen. 
Reflecting on her journey and the lessons she has learned along the way, Meg Ryan shared valuable advice for her younger self. She acknowledged that it was essential not to take things too personally, emphasizing the significance of resilience in the face of both success and criticism. Additionally, she emphasized the importance of not being swayed by the opinions and judgments of others, advocating for authenticity and staying true to oneself. Despite her enduring fame and success, Meg Ryan remains grounded and somewhat reserved when it comes to the spotlight. She candidly acknowledges the challenges that come with fame and underscores the necessity of developing a thick skin to navigate the pressures of public scrutiny. She's back with a new rom-com. Meg Ryan's return to the entertainment scene has been a delightful surprise for her fans, as she reassures the world that her hiatus from Hollywood was not driven by any dramatic backstory. Instead, she candidly explains that there were other aspects of her life she wished to explore and develop. In a recent cover story with People magazine, Meg Ryan shared her perspective on the break she took from the industry. She expressed her desire to view acting as a job rather than a lifestyle, emphasizing the importance of maintaining a healthy work-life balance. This shift in perspective has allowed her to navigate her career with renewed enthusiasm. After an eight-year hiatus following her last film, the 2015 directorial debut, Ithaca, Meg Ryan is making her highly anticipated return to the big screen. In her latest venture, she not only takes on the lead role, but also assumes the roles of director and co-writer. Her recent film, titled What Happens Later, is an independent feature with a SAG-AFTRA waiver and has been released in November 2023. The film's premise revolves around a chance encounter between Ryan's character and an old flame, portrayed by David Duchovny, at an airport during a snowstorm-induced grounding of all flights. Ryan described the essence of the film as two people forced into close proximity, even if their connection feels conflicted, potentially leading to healing moments. Meg Ryan reflects on the inspiration for this project, which came to her during the lockdown period. She describes the essence of the film as the portrayal of two individuals forced to share a confined space, even if it carries a sense of conflict. Their interactions may hold the potential for healing, a theme that resonates with her deeply. Ryan, sharing the screen with David Duchovny, characterizes the entire production as magical. She likens the film to a captivating roller coaster ride, posing the age-old question, will they or won't they end up together? These are characters whose hearts were once broken by each other, but what they've gained in the intervening years is a sense of gratitude for those experiences. As the conversation delves into the notion that everything happens for a reason, Meg Ryan fondly recalls the late Nora Ephron, who wrote and directed many of her classic rom-com. Looking back, she acknowledges the profound truth in that belief. The movies she collaborated on with Nora often carried themes of kismet, destiny, and fate, providing viewers with a comforting sense of inevitability in the unfolding of love stories. Reflecting on her hiatus, Meg Ryan had previously shared with OK! Magazine that at a certain point in her career, she experienced burnout and a sense of disconnection from the character she portrayed. She revealed feeling isolated and expressed a desire to live more fully. Her self-discovery journey led her to recognize that she might not naturally be inclined toward performing. Additionally, she acknowledged the challenges of finding substantial roles in Hollywood as an actress over 40. During her time away from the spotlight, Meg Ryan remained visible on various occasions. She attended numerous galas, Hollywood events, and even graced the front rows of fashion shows, such as the Schiaparelli Couture Show in 2019. In her personal life, she dedicated time to raising her younger daughter, Daisy, who recently celebrated her 18th birthday. Her older son, Jack Quaid, embarked on his own successful Hollywood career with roles in projects like Oppenheimer and as one of the stars of the Amazon hit series, The Boys. 
Meg Ryan has also maintained an active presence on social media, particularly Instagram, where she not only promotes her upcoming film, What Happens Later, but also enthusiastically supports her son Jack's various projects. Her return to the entertainment industry has been eagerly anticipated, and her multifaceted involvement both in front of and behind the camera continues to be a source of excitement for her fans and the industry alike. As Meg Ryan embarks on this new chapter in her career, it's evident that her journey is one of self-discovery and renewed passion for storytelling. Are you excited to see Meg Ryan back on the big screen and behind the camera in her recent romantic comedy? What's your favorite Meg Ryan film or memory from her iconic career? Share your thoughts in the comments below to let us know. As always, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to support us. Thanks for joining us. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.